We have breaking news. California has confirmed one RSV death. This comes after Orange County declared a health emergency at the beginning of this month. Get togethers like this have been at a constant over the past few weeks across all UC campuses. Academic workers have not been afraid to let their voices know over the unfair wages going on in the UC system. Yes, and after talking to some of our experts, that including Dr. Jarvis here at Cal State Fullerton and Clarice Hoffman of the LC Democrats, they gave me the overall sentiment that it's looking like it's going to be a pretty easy route for re-election for Governor Gavin Newsom. Yeah, and I think one of those questionable ideas that we've already um, seen is the new aspect of Twitter Blue, which you would essentially be paying $8 per month to have that blue verification check mark. So I think that also brings up the questions, who do you trust on the platform? Because that brings up the question of who is a reliable source and who isn't. Despite tying the game early in the second half, the Titans weren't truly able to generate offense in this one as they only had nine shots throughout the match. Here's what coach Damian Brown had to say about that after the game. What does it mean to be a Titan? Reporter Brianna Beverly was out and about on campus and spoke to students to find out what being a Titan means to them. On top of Amber's responsibilities conducting her own research, she also helps undergrads both get familiarized with working in a lab environment and also helps undergrads conduct their own research right here. Humidity of 17%. I want to key in and focus on those wind speeds of 7 miles per hour, although it isn't that high here in Fullerton. I do want to make note that here in Southern California, Southern California Edison has warned and given out a warning advisory to those winds. So make sure if you can, please avoid using electronics. We want to avoid having more brush fires around the areas of Southern California. So please make sure don't use those electronics if you don't need to. Hi folks, I'm here with Sumo who is dressed up as Batman at today's costume contest. But on top of dressing up as Batman, Sumo here is turning one years old. That's right, Sumo. Isn't that right? So tell me, Alex, 37 years in the making, with getting to know a little bit more about the history of the program and just, I believe you said it was 1985 the last time it was here. What was your favorite part, just getting to know more about the history and getting to know more about the culture with water polo here at CSUF? I think it's a reflection of the community because the community in Los Angeles is very diverse and we want people in charge who are respectful of, of everybody of all kinds. So we wanna make sure they're respectful and they're aware of, of their surroundings. And to make those comments, it's just very, it's very overboard. Frustration. What do we want? Passion. Just some of the words to help describe America's largest strike of academic workers ever. Student Wellness is set to host more of these free vaccine clinics throughout this week from October 18th through October 20th, this time in the Humanities Quad here on campus. Here from Housing Piazza, I'm Enrique Medina reporting for OC News. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page at Titan TV. From all of us here at OC News, have a great night.